Hey, you guys. Okay, yeah. Um, 2020 has been a hard, a very hard year. I, um, okay, a little bit of back story. Last December, I decided that I am so over trying to cover up my gray and I'm just letting it go gray. Hence me doing my hair gray and then getting bored and coloring the front and my hair lightens insanely fast and trying to integrate the gray on the lengths from previously bleached hair to matching the gray that's growing out. I have to keep toning and even 10 volume developer lightens my hair like this and I have a band of like gold through here that just won't go anywhere. I have tried numerous times just lightening those areas and they just don't want to. They just want to go orange and then I have to tone them and then they're right next to the new growth and it just, it the cycle just keeps going. For almost a year now, I have been wanting to cut all my hair off and start from scratch. Um, I want my hair to be healthy. I want my natural curls back. Like these are like sock curls from overnight because my hair is so damaged from bleaching that my natural curl is just, it's freaking gone. So if my hair grows out in its natural color and I don't touch it with any more developer or anything like that, then hopefully it'll be healthy again and hopefully I'll get my natural curl back and I've just, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and I keep making excuses not to do it. You might be asking, why are you filming this? Um, well, one, if YouTube has taught us anything that everybody likes to see people shave their heads, apparently it's just like we're wired to enjoy it and I don't know why. I don't. It's just true. So, um, a few years ago I cut off all my hair into a pixie while sitting on my couch. Um, I'll probably show a couple of photos of what it looked like afterwards. And uh, I was really, really mad at myself that I didn't like record or something because I was pretty proud of that one. And I don't know if I'm gonna look the same with the pixie now because it's been like six years or so and I've had two kids and I have phone notifications. My face is a lot fatter. <laughs> so we'll see how it looks, but I'm here and I'm gonna do this. I don't know how short we're gonna go. If I'm gonna leave anything here until it grows a little bit. <sighs> this is a big thing. Like, I actually enjoy my hair at this length. Um, my hair is so thin. Like, I look at pictures of myself with long hair and I'm like, oh, but I love my long hair. And then I'm like, Wait, Lens, you're wearing extensions in that or you're wearing a wig in that. So it's not actually your hair. You like having long hair, but you can't grow long hair because you have very thin hair. <sighs> I'm missing half my head of hair when I have long hair. So I like it short. I do. Um, but the, the growing out right now is, is painful. But my natural color that's coming in is actually, it's kind of nice. So <sighs> we're just going to... And yes, you are going to hear a lot of noise going on. Um, that would be Oliver running around because he's 30 pounds. Yeah, my one-year-old is 30 pounds and he he sounds like a four-year-old running around the house. And John's upstairs watching them. I think he's going to bring them down here. So when I'm done, you guys are going to get to see them see what I look like. Um, do I like section out? Also, like, Brad Mondo, if you see this, like, just, my sectioning isn't going to be on point. Like, just avert your eyes, just please, because you are not going to enjoy any of this. I cut my boy's hair. Like, literally, I cut John's hair and I cut Tommy's hair. Okay. I don't know. I don't, like, I don't really make anything off of YouTube, but anything that... I do make through this video, through monetizing this video, I am going to be donating to the Roger Nielsen house. Um, fuck, I'm gonna cry again. And it's not even because of the hair, because they took very, very good care of a special little girl. 
who one week ago today passed away from cancer. She was almost 16 months old. She is a week and a half younger than Ollie. And it kills me that I put so much pressure on myself and my hair to be pretty, be accepted by people and little girls like Tessa, they show you it really matters. So Tessa, this is, this is for you too, sweetie. Fuck. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm starting at an eight, just so you guys know. Oh boy. Oh, that's a lot of hair. By the way, this is how I normally do it until I figure out the exact length that I want. Like I said, Brad Mondo just exit stage left. I can't be like the only mom out there, but like I dread hair wash day. I absolutely dread it. And you know why? Because I know that my hair is so fried, I can't just let it dry naturally. I can't diffuse it and wear it curly because so many of it, the curl pattern has been destroyed from over-processing. And... Come on. And by the way, yes, I would love to be able to donate my hair, but um... In case you haven't noticed, it's it's right. Ain't nobody want this, okay? But yeah, like I, it takes me so long to do my hair because it's so fried, and I I just I hate doing my hair some days. I hate it. Like I can spend so much time trying to make it look nice, and then. It just ends up looking like shite anyways. Like this, like I tried to do like heatless sock curls and it just does not look quite right. And my scissors get stuck, apparently. We're doing this, 
we're doing it. Oh, that feels so weird. It's been a long time since I've had hair this short. You know, I'm just realizing now too, how often I'm going to be told I look like Katy Perry now. I got it enough before. Okay. I think that's that. Okay. I think that's it. Like, I don't know how to get the rest of this off because it's like, like I said, the lightener. Well, sorry, not the lightener. The 10 just bleached out that area so um that's that now I need to shower all of this off because I am a hairy beast oh my god I'm so hairy right now and I am going to try and record the boys reaction so stay tuned for that <sighs> I'm naked I'm fucking naked now. Tommy's reaction, because Tommy's never seen me with hair like this, and he may really hate it. What, Mom? Hi, buddy. What? 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 You don't notice anything? What? Why they came down here? Why did you take your pants off? Why? Wow, mommy looks good. Why did you take your pants off? Because mommy had hair all over her pants. What else do you notice about mama? Does mommy does mommy have a big smile? <laughs> yeah. Does Ollie know mama? Where's the mama? Ollie. I wanna play with him. He's just cranky. I'm play with this car. Dad. Yeah, we can't so, Tommy, just kind of like all over did you notice? Yeah. I want to play a dish with Daddy. It's cool. So you don't, you don't care about Mummy's hair? 
No? Does it look okay? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. So that's that. I just took a shower and washed off all of the little hair bits so I'm not itchy anymore. And this is what we're left with. There's still some of the blonde there, but for the most part, I'm all silver everywhere else. Well, my natural silver, what I have, and there's still obviously dark in there because I'm not completely gray yet. And then with my glasses, I don't know. I still feel like a girl, so that's what's important, I suppose. And we put way too much pressure on ourselves, ladies. Way too much pressure. And let's just let's be happier with just ourselves. And I think that this is going to help ground me a little bit and make it so I stop concentrating so much on the very vain aspects of being a female. This is me. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me cut all my hair off. And before my battery dies, I'm going to have to say adieu. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next videos if you're still into watching somebody that looks a little bit like a boy, a little bit like Katy Perry. But it's still me. Okay, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next time.